Welcome to the post game show presented by the Maroon Club. Enhancing 23 Division One sports. Join the Maroon Club today and our player of the game brought to you by Coca Cola. Enjoy the Coke side of life. Here's Dan with Coach Nolan. All right. Thanks a lot Gary. Coach Nolan we were talking a little bit uh, with Coach Gibbons and he said you know for the first time he's feeling like his team is at full strength. They certainly looked at full strength here tonight. They did. They took advantage of every uh, one of our defenses collapses. You know, I thought offensively we were, we were hanging with them but we couldn't get a stop when we needed it. You know, we would cut it down and then we would uh, again lose somebody and they took advantage of that. So that that hurt us. Switching the guards off on the screen seemed to be working for you. In fact, it helped eliminate uh, most of an 18 point deficit with about 13 minutes to go. You got it down to five down with four minutes to go. Your team showed a lot of heart during that stretch. Oh, sure. I mean, you know, this is a good team and, and we'll always respond. But I was just disappointed in our defensive effort. Emily Holman, it seems, always plays tough no matter who the opponent is in the Patriot League, but especially against Holy Cross this season. She does. She, she's just uh, having a terrific year, and it's really fun to watch. All right, it's Lehigh weekend coming up. We wish you the best of luck just down the river here against those uh, Mountain Hawks of Lehigh. We'll be ready for them. I know you will. Thanks, Diane. Diane Nolan, the head coach of the Lafayette Leopards, as we bring in our Coca-Cola player of the game, Emily Holman. Emily, we were just talking a little bit about how you seem to bring your best game against this Crusaders team from Holy Cross. Yeah, I mean, um, I just, I don't know if it's specifically this team, but, uh, you know, I just try to do what I do every game and try to help my team. Congratulations even before the game began on hitting the 1,000 point mark this season. A great honor. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, I'm glad that I can do that. And, um, you know, uh, it's a great individual compliment, but, you know, still working on team compliments getting that Patriot League uh, championship. That's first and foremost, I would imagine. Big weekend coming up here against Lehigh. And into that game, you take your 19 points from tonight, 11 in the second half, 11 rebounds for a nice double-double evening and an assist to boot. Emily Holman, congratulations on being our Coca-Cola player of the game. Thank you. All right, let's bring it back to Gary and John. All right, thank you, Dan. And for Emily, of course, she hits a double-double tonight, her sixth of the season, 19 points and 11 rebounds. Taking us through the highlights, here's John. Yeah, Gary, there were plenty of them. A really good offensive effort by both teams tonight. Look at the high-low pass from Raquel Scott to Emily Parker. That's an illustration of just how effective they were offensively. They passed the ball well all night long. They came in averaging 18 assists a game. And uh, boy, Lisa Mifson, what a great little sophomore. She just made a big play every time. Holy Cross seemed to need one. Another illustration of just how effectively they move without the basketball. Miffs of that times finds Raquel Scott again on the inside. Scott, Gary, she came in averaging about 13, 14 points a game. She did not disappoint tonight. Then Bree Malone, high, low, great job by, again, Scott running the floor hard and Bree Malone finding her. This team moves the ball as well as any that I've seen come through Kirby so far this year. This team is on a roll. Lafayette kind of hung with them for a while. There's Danielle Fiaco with a strong inside move, just not enough of it for the Leopards. Danielle again with a strong turnaround. At this point, both she and Emily Holman were trying to put this team on their back in the second half and carry them in. Kelly Lockney had great moments, especially in the first half. Gave her team a real big lift. There's uh, Emily Holman inside out. Maddie Peabody lining up a three. Lafayette got a 16-point lead down to five in the second half. The step back by Lanelle Macklin. She had a big night tonight. But Gary, at the end of the day, it was really difficult. Look at the left-handed finish by uh, Jamie O'Hare. But at the end of the day, Gary, Holy Cross comes in tonight. We talked to Billy Gibbons. He likes where his team is at right now. Lafayette ran into a very, very good Holy Cross team. They are a good basketball team, John. Uh, their 92 points came on 39 field goals. They were just one for eight from beyond the arc, but 13 for 17 from the foul line as they had five players in double figures led by Raquel Scott with 25. They go to 17 and nine on the year, nine and six, as they have at least solidified at the very worst that fourth place spot along with Bucknell. For Lafayette, there's 74 points on 28 field goals, six for 17 from beyond the arc, 12 for 14 from the foul line. Lafayette goes to 13 and 13, seven and eight, and they should stay in sixth place with everybody else that appears losing in tonight's ball game. They too had four people this time in double figures. Emily Holman with a double-double, 19 points and 11 rebounds. We're checking the scoreboard here. Lafayette up by eight 
with about 50 seconds to go in Worcester. So it looks like hopefully the Leopards will hang on and win that basketball game. We'll be back at noon on Sunday. Lafayette Lehigh, it doesn't get any better than that. We hope you will join us. For John Leone, Dan Malley, the RCN television team headed up by Rick Gijo. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.